Namaskar. All human beings want to be permanently happy. My master put it this way, there is in the living being a thirst for limitlessness. It seems that we can never get enough of happiness. And we all want to shun pain and suffering and enjoy permanent happiness. How to get it? Well, if you've been watching the videos on our channel, we say that in order to enjoy permanent happiness, we have to associate ourselves with the source of happiness. And that is the Supreme Consciousness, the source of everything. And through the practice of deep meditation, we can feel the subtle experience of inner joy. And it's so subtle that we cannot really explain it in words. For example, if you prick your finger with a pin, you'll say, ouch. But if you cut your finger with a knife, you say, ouch. But that word, ouch, doesn't actually convey the feeling of pain that you're experiencing that moment. In the same way, that experience of oneness with Supreme Consciousness is so subtle that it's beyond verbal description. It can only be experienced in the deeper recesses of our mind. So because we have this unlimited thirst, we try to seek uh, satisfaction of that thirst through material objects. Some people, they want to make a lot of money because they think through money, they can buy happiness. Some people want to become famous because they think that being famous will make them loved and adored by many people. Others seek positions of power because in that way they will have respect of others. But eventually we realize, we may realize that these things don't bring us what we're searching for. And if we come to this realization, we may find a spiritual path and a guru or a teacher to guide us to find our inner happiness. And so our spiritual life begins and unfolds as we begin to practice the precepts of our spiritual master. You know, I remember in the first meeting of my master, uh, he quoted something, a poem from Alfred Lord Tennyson. He said it in a very slow and deep way. He said, men may come, men may go, but I go on forever. And I, you know, I, I only later I found out who that quote was by. You know? And it was a very beautiful um, experience that moment. So, you know, I don't know if you remember the story of Alexander the Great. In his lifetime, he conquered hundreds of lands. But at the end of his life, he asked that he be buried with his arms upward. Because after all of that, all of the conquest, he still didn't get he did not get that happiness he was searching for. So he asked that his arms be buried, his, he'd be buried with his arms upward as a gesture of surrender to that all-knowing power which controls everything. You know, in English, there's a saying, you can't take it with you. And so, you know, when we're born, we come with nothing. When we die, all of our, our possessions, our wealth, our name, our fame, everything we leave behind. It reminds me of a quote of, of the great sage Kabir. He said, when you were born, you were crying and everybody was laughing. And when you leave this world, you should do such good deeds that you are laughing and everybody else is crying. So here is the solution. This two-pronged approach to life is the solution to finding our inner happiness. Through deep meditation, experience that peace that comes through deep meditation. And while we're not meditating, utilize our time as much as we can to do service to living and non-living beings. In this way, we'll enjoy that peace of inner meditation, of, of deep meditation, and the joy of seeing others benefited by the service which we have done selflessly. So I hope that if we can remember these two points throughout our life, we'll experience that joy beyond all understanding, which is our birthright. Thank you. Namaskar.